Good morning, friends. Today we will learn how to connect Jet Backup with Google Drive or connect your server with Google Drive to store your server backups. So let's start our video. First of all, you need to open your browser, then uh, go on log into your server and uh, go to the jet backup if you have any trouble to install jet backup then you can also contact with me at uh, using comment box i will create a separate video to installation of jet backup jet backup is one of the most used application for store backup in cpanel i have already used and after uh, log into your uh, root then go to the jet backup then go to the destination and click on create destination option here you need to select type as google drive and destination name you can use any i will use test because it's only for testing purpose then after this you need to select uh, backup directory otherwise you can it can be go to the root directory 95 percent is free space disk limit you may also disable it now you need use both screen and access code I will provide you a link where you can mm, get it first of all you need to uh, open this link in your browser then after this uh, you need to log in your Google account then click on agree and continue then click on create project set the project name I will set it as jet backup and click on create button project is creating right now it has been done now we need to open it Here you need to select Google Drive API. I have got it. Now you need to click on Enable it. Now you have entered in it. Now click on search and here you need to search again about API and services. You have entered to the dashboard. Sorry, I have selected it again. Now you need to go to the Oath Concern screen. Now here you will select External and click on Create button. Now we got it to the O screen. Here you need to set up a name of your server. Then next thing is sport email. You can also set up logo, otherwise, you can also leave logo as it is. App domain. App domain must be registered in your Google Search Console, otherwise, it will not accept it. You need to app setting here. privacy policy terms and condition all links you need to proceed but I will use same link because I am only use it for demo purpose to show you then again developer contact information you need to s enter another email address here
then after this you need to select save and continue Here are the scope. Scope means the permissions that you grant this application to use. How will it use your server? Now add, click on add scope then give auth user info permission, open id permission and also search some auth docs permission granted it. and auth driver application also need to enable it then we simply need to mm, create on update option Now the next level is test user. You can also leave it as it is. This is the summary of your creating auth. Auth user cap add user and now you need to click on publish app but this app is unverified click on prepare for verification option whether it's uh, not necessary that you verify your app you need to give something here so that uh, the where you can discuss why you were you are trying to use this app you can set up anything I just only mm, give a few reason it's not necessary that your application is approved from Google to use it you can also use it without a approval then place a YouTube you need to place my video link in this uh, demo link here you need to add some info more about it I have placed an email address Should find our details about your app I only put all this in demo purpose if you want you can also uh, skip this step of verification it also working after publishing I've set up a random links here. Just click on save button. This is the final review. Click on my usage of auth complies with Google. And here you got some option. the remaining work is available in our next part of this video I will place the uh, link in description thank you